I'm gonna keep this. I don't know if this is good or not. I mean, I, I have Frenzy in my deck. So making land drops is not the worst thing in the world. I'm not aggressive because I boarded out all my creatures. Set's gonna have a lot of removal as well. I don't know. Hmm. I think we should lava coil this. Grass kills everything in Set's deck, right? White, 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 white. I want to kill. I, I want to keep instance in my hand in case I draw Regisar, in which case I would like to be able to play the cards at instant speed when the trigger goes in the static. There's 24 lands in the deck because the the mana base is pretty bad. You have to play 20 basic lands and four duels. I guess now that the deck is a little slower, there could be two of the gain lands. They're not great. If that goes Feather plus Protection, it's gonna be able to get rid of one of my one of my removal spells for free. Yeah, that's probably what he's, what he's gonna have. I could have waited a turn and killed it in response, but after playing all my lands, but I think I would just rather do this. I think the rare rare lands are gonna be fine. I think they made a good job of making them not you know not too powerful. But some of them like the blue one is really good, I think. The red one could be okay in like a go wide version with like tokens and stuff. Oh my god. We're gonna need to draw Frenzy. Whoever draws Frenzy is gonna win. I mean, Set, Set is obviously a bigger favorite because he ever draws a creature, he's gonna be able to go. God's willing. Yeah, this is one of the one of the better ones to go with it too. The fact that I have to tap my mana here gives away that I don't have Bedevil. Because if I did, the auto tapper would, would tap it for me. Would tap it for me in the normal way to not get screwed. So this just give the fact that I have to tap my mana gives away that my hand is has basically nothing. Maybe a grasp, but definitely not a Bedevil. I don't know if I can win anymore. Basically, even if I do draw a Frenzy, if Seth gives this guy protection from... Oh, man. Protection from red or black, and, like, I run more removal spells of the same color, I'm not going to be able to play it. I'm going to bluff a removal spell. Yeah, it's true that you can go one one step ahead by bluffing it and doing that, like making your opponent think that you don't have that. So this is not currently great because we can get rid of Seth's creatures. So I'm just going to play my line and pass, I think. We're flooding out real hard. All right. Now we're basically dead because Seth goes. 
Yeah, there's no way for me to play around this, I don't think. I, I can play this, flashback lava coil, so after he oh wait, this doesn't even, yeah, this doesn't even go right. If this was like a Doom Blade, I still wouldn't be able to do anything, because Seth gives it protection from black, then I play Chandra, flashback, uh, lava coil, and Seth just gives this guy plus two plus two. Alright, I'm dead. Well, we didn't play a lot of spells in this game. Do I want to be more aggressive on the play? That's the question. I don't really think so. I think I just want to leave the deck as is. He's only playing three of the protection spells, so he's not he's not always guaranteed to have it. I could have bored out of the line on the draw. On the play, I think I would go back to 24, but if you have a lot of removal, you don't need you don't need to hit all your land drops when you're just hit just trying to kill your opponent's stuff. Like if you miss a land drop, like if you miss your third land drop, for example, it's not a big deal. Because you're you're still just, you know, killing all their creatures and not really curving out. So maybe I should have bored out of the line even on the play. I hope I'm still here. Cause this little Circles making making me a little nervous. Let's see. Alex Hain. What up, buddy? Thank you for the raid. Welcome everybody to the stream. We're playing Fandom Legends. Currently around one. Playing in said Manfield. We had a perfect draw on the on the play in game one. Flooded hard in game two, and we're currently about to play game three. I hope I'm still alive, because my internet has been acting out. This is a long time. Maybe sets maybe sets taking a lot of time to sideboard, but I'm I am a little nervous now that my internet went down again. Gonna crash game three, hopefully, hopefully. Alright, play first. Ugh. That's not a great hand. Can I keep this? I mean Registor's pretty good against this deck. The legions end. Ugh. Should I mold to six? If I mold to six and just like make land drops and play frenzy, maybe that's better. I mean, this is this is pretty tempting. Plus, if I ever draw a mountain, then I have a good two drop. I have a shock which kills about sixty percent of his creatures, or even more than that. Oh man, I'm not really aggressive after sideboard, so like I don't really need to mulligan for like a one drop or something. I boarded out a bunch of those. I'm gonna keep this, I don't know if that's good or bad, but just on the back of Registar being insane. Like if I draw one land, it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay, hopefully. And now Registrar doesn't care if you if you hand his all rep cards. Set as a hero. Now do I Legions and the hero or do I Registrar? I think I just Registrar. I think I just wanna. Actually, it's bad if he's if he's gonna make a bunch of one ones. That's bad for me. Yeah, I should just Legions end. Set as a feather and a protection spell. How do 
does this deck always just have the the combo like in every hand? Oh man. Oh, that's rough. One turn one turn later, we would have been able to get both of the heroes. Well, we're gonna try to draw a red source now. See if Frenzy can get us there. So I can go exile this, play the two drop. Yeah, this is not looking good. This is so stupid. Yeah, good game. Alright, well, two very exciting games. Not, 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 not much we could have done outside of mulliganing. Well, oh well. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose.